No, you're good. I mean, pretty good. Yeah? I'm traumatized. <laughs> nothing I'm not used to. You're not used to? No, nothing I'm not used to. I lived dead in Grand Prairie oh, that's right. yeah, for like almost time. five years. Okay. Operating crane outside and stuff. Yeah. It gets pretty cold. Okay. What's up? This is Steve Mitchell, our doctor. And there's the fish again. Cool. And there, yeah, we talked about the fish last week. I know. This salmon. He's hanging out here. Unfortunately, a vandalized sculpture. To be repaired. Send it to Salt Springs. <laughs> that is actually, you're, you're, you're absolutely right. I think that is. Santa right. told me. Yeah. 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 One day it'll get fixed. Uh, that one is good where there was a third fish that we're getting recast. So that's the one that's gone to Salt Spring. And once we get that back. I thought that one had to go too, and then he has to rebuild it with the other fish. Oh, it might have, to, might yeah. have to do that. Yeah. Daniel handles. Well, yes. Handles. Never only, be, only be new. Yeah. So thanks very much for coming in and, and chatting. I'm just uh, thanks for your patience. Hoping to have a chat about um, yeah, but for me to get a bit of better understanding of how we might make this work and how this works for you and how we sort of help find a, a place that works all around. I think and cool. uh, find some some way to balance everybody's needs and and see if we can't get to a place that works. Yeah. So um, I wasn't sure really based on whether you had anything to cover from last time. Sanders, give me a bit of an overview. Um, I, I mean, I almost have nothing else to say. Like I, sure. I wasted so much of their time last time. No, 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 no worries. So I guess <laughs> a couple of things I wouldn't mind hearing from you. One um, being um, in what I understand, and uh, and this isn't like the first time I've, I've chatted with, with folks that... Um, have are, can be challenged in a public place. Um, so, what works for you in in a public space? Like, what what benefits do you get from coming here? What what's meaningful for you? I, it helps me to understand how we find a, a a scenario that works for all of us. So, well, I have ADHD, so the sauna mm -hmm. and just drinking water and sitting in like the the sauna and possibly like working out in the gym yep. is really like what I'm looking for. Okay. Um, like once a month I might do laps in the pool kind of thing yep. but just to kind of get out that like hyperness yep that's so breathing all. in the warm air and gives you yeah dude okay that's yeah. all sure um, and that may be the place where we, we start and then gradually grow from there okay um, so is there are you sort of available to come certain times like is there times that make more sense for you or because we can certainly suggest some times that might be a little quieter versus other times, and again, just trying to find a way that, that benefits you. Another thought we've had was um, kind of recommending, we've got a couple other change room options, uh, universal change room, there's um, more of a mobility assistive change room as well, and we call, some call family change room kind of idea, but really we call them, they're just universal change rooms for anybody who needs a, a bit of seclusion in, in changing and getting ready. and. Uh, both ways in and out so I'm, I'm, I'm practically open to anything yeah okay because like it, it would it, it would hurt me like a lot to not have access to a facility so I mean I'm not here to cause anyone any problems I'm nope. just here to, for for my well-being yeah I just need a safe place to like just yeah just take care of my ADHD dude yeah. <laughs> so I mean yeah I'm like a pretty easy going and like to like uh for some odd reason like whenever I feel like I'm going to the gym or I'm going to the sauna it seems to be around four o'clock. Okay. But like right now, you know, like should I just come when you guys open or something? I don't know. Early mornings are pretty busy. Four oh. o'clock is going to be a busy time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, just because we'll, you'll get all the influx of families coming from schools Fair. for their lessons, lessons usually. Yeah, it's a high lesson time for us. Yeah. Um, this sort of late morning, early afternoon time frame might be best, mm -hmm. but I need to double check schedule and just make sure. I mean, a couple of things we're willing to certainly play out and, and have you try and go through, like to come uh, to use the, the sauna pool facility, uh, use that um, universal change room facility. Uh, we do ask and we ask all our patrons not to use their phones or recording devices at all in the change rooms and, and in the pool. Uh, although in the pool we could have people come and film their kids swimming and all that stuff, so you might see it every now and then. but. 
my hope is those folks have we've talked to them about it and made sure they're not filming anybody else in the pool so um, but like that is common like I'm not yeah I'm not here to film anyone no I know and I know people have like looked at my backpack and stuff like I'll I'll wrap my backpack up in a white garbage bag so that way people I, I don't yeah I know but, but, no, but like I also like you. like I've I've had audio recording right yeah with my phone in my backpack yeah and I've been intimidated by like joining like the Masons like group and stuff oh. in your facility oh I can't speak for I mean they've rented the facility and once you if you rent a room with us you can kind of set up your own room no this is there. like local mobbing I've been telling you about like with like oh. Sandra and stuff like that so I already have that audio recording on like that it's one aspect of how I've been intimidated at your facility. So I'm oh, just here, like anything somebody's I, recorded you, or you've recorded. I record audio on okay. like people suggesting like that for me. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Because I'm being ostracized. Right. Okay. Okay. For whatever the reason is. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying just, to find a way to help you work. Yeah. Your area. And I mean, I, sure. Yeah. And, and I, I just look for a safe place, and anything I do is just to protect me, right? Yeah. Like I don't give a shit about anyone. Or anything I'm here to like I'm like super neat freak like I'll take care I'm not here to like cause any like problems to your facility nothing like no. that but I, yeah and my perspective of things is is the big the large group unfortunately I've got to balance out everybody's needs and, and trying to make sure everybody's getting along and, and it all works for everybody I so I, I you know I would like love to be able to say absolutely I can provide you a safe space that's a challenge to be honest that's that's a tough one so i promised sandra and the other lovely woman that that i'll just walk away if i feel uncomfortable well that was the other piece <laughs> was to chat about how do we when you do feel uncomfortable like we're certainly just here walk away tomorrow's yeah. a new day yeah that's really like okay like almost like my only option right it's because i i can't have any conflict no no and, and nor do we want that and i mean the other side too is because i don't want to have these talks anymore no no if somebody is giving you some grief then come and see you've now met both of us talk to us about it and we can help you with it there's gonna be no grief because i'm just gonna walk away beautiful <laughs> i know but it's hard sometimes and that's what we're getting at it's hard to inter not interact in these spaces but, i'll but, go do push-ups in the parking lot to cool down yeah <laughs> so that's a good that's a good strategy is to walk away cool down but if you do need to talk about it after that You've yeah. got Steve, you've got me, you've got Camille, and yep. you've got our, Camille, yeah. our yes, email addresses right. too, right? So if you do know, just need to, hey, just wanted to let you know what happened. Here's my side of the story. You can always throw that in an email. That's part of providing a safe space on our end. Yeah. Just, I, I feel so stupid. You guys are so nice. Thank well, you for no, your time. No, and I was just going to say, we have, there's, there's other folks we work with in a similar individualized basis to try to support them and coming so i'm not going to bug anyone i'll just beat myself up by doing push-ups in the park when i go <laughs> <laughs> well yeah and i think part of it for us renee too is like we want our patrons to be safe we also want our staff to be safe and we want them to work here so we're always looking at kind of you know we really uphold our reception team as well they walk on water right they're great so you know they're here to help and it's a two-way street right so just they're your friends, but they're also need to be respected as well. Same with the guards on deck. So if you do need to walk away, if that's the best thing to do in the moment, then that's the best thing to do. And then you've got an outlet by emailing us if you need. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Does that all sound reasonable? You're yes, sir. comfortable with that stuff? Okay. Um, one other question and more just a bit of curiosity and again, Shoot. to make sure you're safe. Um, you're, you're free to wear your mask as, as you feel comfortable. You, you're okay wearing it in the hot spaces? I'm a little curious about that one because that would seem hard to breathe in there. Uh, it the, works okay for you? I, I bought a second mask. Oh, I, okay. I have three, so I try to use tea tree oil and stuff like that. I yeah. try to clean it every day. Yeah. And even though my face looks really stupid, but it just helps me breathe. Yeah. But people think it's weird, right? <laughs> we're, I mean, we're in a different day and age now. To be honest, I've got people wearing all kinds of masks and stuff these days, so not I'm not concerned by it. I mean, when people look at me weird at the grocery store, I'm like, "You're not going to get sick for me," and they just laugh, right? Yeah. So that's like the best way. Perfect. I can that is a good that. response. Actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, as long as you're comfortable with that in the sauna and you you paying attention to yourself and your own breathing. Uh, because we have had folks pass out in there, oh, yeah. especially during COVID when they were wearing masks in there. Anyhow, so in ten years, I can last an hour. Okay, okay, all right. Well, I'm pretty comfortable. I think we're good understanding. Um, what we'll oh, do is follow sorry. up and make sure we. Yeah, go I owe you guys money. 
I, I had a question right. for you <laughs> He's regarding, like, yeah, okay. regarding that mask. Would that, is, would that get in, um, damaged at all in the heat? Because we wouldn't want you to have damage to that. So one other alternative is like an N95 mask. So I'll just kind of leave that with you. Okay, but fair. we just hope that with the heat and the humidity and the filters, I don't know how, I'm not mechanical, so I don't know how it works, but just consider that in mind. I mean, I think, well. I think it's like the best like money can buy. I think this, yep. like, this, this is like a hundred dollars. Yep. Like, like the filters alone are sixty dollars. Mass is like fifty dollars. Yeah. Yeah, that's part of our. Yeah, just go on, as long as you're, yeah. it's your decision and you're aware. It's of, just for my safety. Yeah. Right? Yeah, but if anything happened to it, that we wouldn't be able to compensate. Oh no! Of course. Yeah. yeah of course, it. guys. Yeah. So if it was got it, starting got it, got it. to malfunction, thank you for being so blind. An <laughs> al alternative might be an N95 mask or something like yeah. that. That. Got it. If it got wrecked, <laughs> it got wrecked. Okay. We, we hear all kinds of stuff in this business. So yeah. I, I, I'm here to put zero blame on anybody. Yeah. 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 I appreciate that. <laughs> if if it shits the bed, I can just I'll go buy a new one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. So at this point, we're going to say access to pool, sauna, especially. Uh, we're looking at daytime access. Um, you know, you've got contacts here if something does go on, and then use of that. Uh, Universal change room, I think, would help us all around. And okay, yeah. So no gym and no evenings. Uh, at this point, let's yeah. let's take one step at a time okay. and make sure you're comfortable and we're comfortable, and then we can we can move from there. Next step would be the gym. Um, I would say avoid the gym in the evenings anyhow, though it is extremely busy. Okay. And extremely busy with um, teenagers, more or less, in the evening, early evenings. So, again, depending on your comfort level with that kind of stuff. How many squat racks do you guys have? Just two. two. Oh, shoot. And they're yeah. high demand. I was hoping you said four. I know. It's not a super no. huge space up there. We're set for a reno in a couple of years where that's part of what we're looking at. But, uh, but yeah, just evenings up there are smoking busy. Jacob's Ladder? You have one of those? Ooh, good questions. I think so. That's it's one of those like... Out. No, no. That, that's oh. one of those like stationary ones where you just... Like, no, we them. don't. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. I don't believe we do have that at either of our centers that I'm aware of. Nope. Okay. But uh, we will be chatting with folks about some equipment requests. There you go. Near George St. Pierre loves that thing. It's yeah. like small. You can put it in like a corner. And like two minutes, you, you can like run 30, 40 minutes in oh, yeah, it's big condition. Dumb. You'll just like hop on that thing in two minutes, you're dead. Yeah, we looked at them before, but they had um for commercial use, and things have probably changed because this was five, six years ago. Um, they just didn't have a great uh, longevity record. They needed a lot of repair work, needed a lot of... I have heard of it. Okay, fair. So, like the gears and shit, like me, it's a loop. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Fair. You know. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'll, we'll take a look at that again, and we're, we're going to be doing some equipment Yeah, we're doing a fitness and... survey soon as well. Yeah. You yeah. could always put your... Yeah. But so why don't, we, why don't we check in in a month, and you can just yeah. check in with Sandra and see how you're doing, and then we can chat about the gym then, if that makes sense. Yeah, I was just going to grab a schedule, and then you brought up money. Yes, so yes, yes. What I suggest is that um, Camille's not here today, so she's back in the office tomorrow. Okay. When do we want to get, can you wait a day? Yeah. And then we can finish up the financial piece with Camille. Sure. And she can reissue whatever. Oh, right. You're working I on think, the yeah, the pass, pass or. Yeah, the half price pass. Great. That sounds lovely. Yeah, yeah that's so good. So there's a little bit of paperwork there that you would okay. need to do. I'm using one to food for right now for like the gym and stuff. Using one okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So I'll, I'll just go. So ahead. you've got a place for today to yeah. do that. Okay. So why don't I'll send Camille an email and then if link you guys by email. I'm not sure if she was already linked with you. And then uh, you can contact her to figure that piece out. Love it. And we'll put me on there too, so then you've okay. got all of our emails and something goes on, just send it, drop us an email, seriously. Yeah. And let's problem solve from there, so. Thanks guys, you're gonna make me emotional. <laughs> <laughs> well, Renee, hope it works out and let's let's plow ahead and see where we go and yeah. Thank you. Yeah, get you into that space. Thanks for your time. Okay. All right, well thank you for your time too, appreciate that. And yeah, sorry, I forgot about that. Pass.